Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing video and in this video I wanted to talk about some of Animal Crossing's most forgotten characters. So let's get straight into this video. Animal Crossing has so many different characters and so many special characters. It's kind of hard to go through all of them mentally just because there are absolutely so many of them. Some of them are absolutely beloved by people like Isabel, some of them maybe not so much, and others are just plain forgotten. I couldn't think of too many characters that people just completely forget about, but there were three that came to mind and I wanted to talk about them and bring some spotlight to them in this video. First of all, we have to talk about Frillard. Now, I would argue he is the most forgotten and maybe unknown Animal Crossing character there is. Now, basically, Frillard first appeared and only appeared in Animal Crossing City Folk, where he basically would appear in the comedy club sometimes, and he was the mentor of Shrunk. We don't really know too much about this guy. Like Shrunk, he's not very funny, obviously, if he taught Shrunk all of those unfunny jokes. And yeah, we don't really know much about his personality or what he's like, he's just kind of old. That's pretty much his whole thing. So this character kind of goes unnoticed and unmentioned by most Animal Crossing fans. In fact, I'll be completely honest, I only learned about this guy earlier this year because I made a sort of similar video on this character. So he is definitely very forgotten and I would be willing to bet that a lot of Animal Crossing players don't know this guy exists at all. Whereas you have to compare him to a character like, let's say, Tom Nook, who is obviously so, so popular, and even people who don't play Animal Crossing know who he is. So it's kind of a lot to say, even people who do play Animal Crossing would maybe not know who Frillard is. But he isn't the only character that kind of goes a bit forgotten in the Animal Crossing fandom. We also have Farley. Now, I would say Farley is definitely a lot less than Frillard because Farley has a very cool element to him, and that's that he is sort of the spirit of the Wishing Well. He's not an animal, and he's not really a human either. He's some kind of gnome creature? I don't really know what he is, but it's always very cool to see him in the sort of one instance that you do see him in Animal Crossing for the GameCube. It's exciting to see this character. He's very mysterious, and of course, as I said, he's a rare sort of find, so that kind of makes him a bit more popular than, say, Frillard, who really isn't that interesting at all and really doesn't have much going for him as a character. Then of course we have Serena. Now Serena is definitely more well known, but still she's one of those characters that is stuck to Animal Crossing City folk and you don't really get to see her that often. When you do get to see her, your experience with her may not be too positive because she may just straight up steal your axe. In fact, Serena was the way you would get the golden axe in Animal Crossing City Folk, but it wasn't exactly an easy task to do. You really kind of had to play mind games with her to get it, and it really wasn't any fun. So Serena's one of those characters that if people do know who she is, they probably either think, oh wow, I love her because she's really cute, or they probably think, okay, I kind of hate this character because she has stolen so many of my axes and she's not giving me the golden one that I want. So I would say she's probably more well-known than Farley and Frillard, but she's still one of those characters that really doesn't get much love because she only appeared in one of the games. But I want you guys to comment down below what other Animal Crossing characters do you think are forgotten about and should get more love? Do you agree with my picks on this list? If you do, then you know leave a comment down below also, and leave a like if you enjoyed this video too to show your support. If you guys want to help support the channel even more, you can click the join button down below and become a member of the Bob's Gang. All of these wonderful people are members of the Bob's Gang and they help out the channel a lot and get a bunch of cool perks for being a part of it. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's fun to talk about some of these more interesting Animal Crossing characters and maybe bring some light to the ones that people wouldn't know about as much. As I said, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Of course, leave your comments down below for your forgotten characters and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content and I will see you guys in the next video.